Good morning. Praise the Lord. What a beautiful morning we have and we are gathered here as such this at our places, at different places, but I believe that we are in uh, we are together in one spirit. And as we worship Lord Almighty as we give our praise and offering, uh I want to read the verse Isaiah 25 when it says, "Lord, you are my God, I will exalt you and praise your name for in perfect faithfulness" you have done wonderful things things planned long ago just imagine what a beautiful promise which reminds us that for in the perfect faithfulness you have done wonderful things things planned long ago if we are, if we are see our life we are see our past we can see his faithfulness we can see his mercy the grace what he has done in our life it's amazing mind blowing and still we are holding into his promises and i believe that as we are moving ahead we going to worship lord almighty and believe that coming days coming months coming year are still in his plan amen and god says the plan for our good for our good and i believe in his word and as as his promises say to her life right and as we worship lord almighty let's give him the best amazing praise an amazing praise as he has for us the grace which abides us and for us in our life and let's give her the best Lord Father We are the temple of the Holy Spirit Lord Father and we believe we believe in your word we believe in your promises and you are good good God Lord Father Oh you are good God Jesus And here we are Lord Jesus in your presence sitting in different locations both but worshiping one living God knowing that lord jesus that you are with us oh yes you are good you are good when there's nothing good in me you are love you are love on this pray for all to see you are light you are light when the darkness 
the world is forever rain. Let the world forever rain. And this is our prayer this morning. In our life, in our days, every single moment, Lord Father, we invite you to reign over us. You reign in Lord Father. You reign in Lord Father. You lead us, Lord Father. And we know, Lord Jesus, that as we are crossing this time, as a child of God, as a father, you're holding our fingers, and you are making us cross this road. You are making us to cross this. time lord jesus which everything looks like uncertain he holding us and as a father you 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 holding our hand and you know that that we are precious to you our life our security our coming days our years we know lord jesus that we are walking but we are walking but you are by our side lord father we are not alone we are not alone no matter what lord jesus we believe in your faithfulness lord father that long time ago you already you have already planned every single thing for us and we receive in the name of Jesus thank you lord father we are careful to give you all the glory and all lord jesus belongs to your name and we ask this prayer in your most precious name all people say amen amen what a beautiful time worshiping his name and this will be a time we will be giving our tithes and offering to the lord almighty and uh, as you can see the numbers given on the screen you can google pay paytm phone pay or you can do bank transfer and nft services And as we sing this song let's give our best to God almighty amen let's worship his name We to stay in this story that is meeting you I rest you me sing it out Jesus is alive the cross and the rain like the tunnel you have gone the day shout it out Jesus is alive he's alive oh happy day happy day you wash my sin away oh happy day change your name lord jesus and this is the happy day we rejoice in your presence lord father we pray lord jesus that the people those who have given the best for your kingdom lord jesus bless them lord you take this uh, for your glory for your honor lord jesus use it lord father we are thankful for every single thing that you have done in our life thank you lord We give you all the glory and honor belongs to your name. We ask this prayer in the most precious name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord and I welcome you for this our time of meditation. For the past two devotions I was sharing with you about the last journey of Paul and the tough situation that he encountered. And uh, we have been learning some lessons through how paul was responding to the crisis though he was in the middle of the same situation like any other in the ship but he was very confident in uh, continuing his journey and knowing that he will reach the place where he is supposed to be and friends 
even if you find yourself in the midst of this crisis and you know and, and you know that you are being affected because of the situation one or other way may i encourage you to hold on to god knowing that he is with us and he has a purpose for our lives so we don't need to be drifted off we don't need to abandon the things that god has put into our hands the relationship the things and the blessings we don't need to let go of those things but we will need to hold on to it because where god is taking us we will be needing everything that he has put into our hands instead of letting go of everything it is good for us to hold on to him the another response at times when we go through pressure and crisis and this is something that people tend to do is to give up is to find themselves that there is no other way and almost they find themselves at the end of the rope we don't need to live in that disappointment we don't need to live in such situations where we find ourselves a living a life that is no meaning to it and this is something that we read from book of acts chapter 27 as we continue about the journey that paul was in we saw we we see that in uh, which chapter 27 of book of acts verses 20 it says when neither sun nor star appeared for many days the storm continued raging and we finally gave up all the hope of being saved that was the situation for each and every individuals those who were sailing on that ship rich to the poor the well educated to the uneducated the owner of that ship and every workers on that ship and to the centurion and the soldiers irrespective of every class of people they lost hope because it was been days that they are living and surviving through this tough situation day in and day out they were facing this living in this fear that they would die at any time or they will lose their life they will lose the ship and they were willing to throw away everything but paul being in the same situation he was very confident that he will get to the other side of the sea because as we read verse number 24 god gave a promise god spoke to him and he said paul this is your purpose and you will you will survive and you will get there and this is a tough situation friends that we need to understand that there is a purpose and god will help us to survive and he will help us to sustain through this situation let's not give up let's keep moving ahead though the journey is very rough and difficult it may be uncertain situation like for them they do not know when they are going to reach the other side of the soul the same with paul but he knew for sure he will reach the other side and we see this that god was speaking to him and he was making this clear declaration and bible also says that they were very afraid and verse number 29 we say that fearing that they would dash against the rock they dropped four anchors from the stern and prayed for daylight now they can't see anything it was darkness all around and and the situation is that they are hopeless they do not find any possibility of that they will be saved they do not see any land they do not see any place that they can just rest for so they came to a conclusion at the end of the day that they threw four anchors from the ship and they decided to quit everything that they were been doing friends if you are in that situation today that you have been tossed up and down and you are going through this raging sea and tough situations the best thing that you can do drop your anchor and be still and know that god is in control just be still and see the way that he is leading you through because this crisis is going to be there for a longer time this is going to continue on for long and it is going to be a very difficult journey through for us but if we are in christ if we trust in him we can do the same drop the anchor and continue to wait for the day of lord's salvation and his protection and paul was very confident and he was able to do that and paul even makes this statement in verse number 33 it says that paul urged them for the last 14 days you have not been eating anything continuously going through this tough situation 
so he encouraged them to eat and find strength and be confident for god will take care of him how can paul be so confident in the situation because of the promises god gave and you and me can look up to the promises of god and you and me can be confident in this situation and we can move on peacefully like paul journeyed through this and if you read through the story again it says at the end of the day a little while later they were able to look at island far from there and paul told this very clearly you might be going through the stuff situation you might be losing all your cargoes you might be losing the ship you might get wet you might go through the stuff situation it looks like this situation is overruling you it is going to capture you it is going to it's it's going to it's going to destroy you but i want you to know that none of you in this ship will be destroyed and that was paul's confidence because he heard god speaking to him very clearly that he will protect every individual friends god will protect each and every one of you when you come closer to him find yourself in his presence find the real purpose of god in your life and hold on to the promises that nothing will harm you he will continue to protect and preserve you so as you go through this tough situation irrespective of what ways that you have been affected through this pandemic I want you to trust god for the better things because this pandemic might leave much more influence than what it is right now its impact can be greater than what it is right now probably it we might get affected by it in one or other way but do not be worried continue to hold on to him for his promises are true in our lives let's hold on to his promises friends would you pray with me father we just wanted to thank you for all the great and wonderful things that you have done thank you god for you are true god and you always speak to us and encourage us and strengthen us father even as we go through the tough situation we pray for your strength your grace and your presence and your anointing that we will find ourselves in your presence that we will find the real purpose of yours in our life and we will hold on to the promises that you have declared upon us and spoken to us father help us to continue to follow your ways to see that we get through this difficult situation like paul was able to take everyone in their ship to the safety i pray that we will take our family our friends and people those who are around us and we will take them to the safety so god we pray and we commit our lives that you would bless us to be a blessing to many that you would give us hope that we will give hope to many lord father i pray let your light shine through us for those who are in the darkness in this difficult situation we pray thank you god for your wonderful and amazing god that you have protected each and every one of us so far we pray that you would continue to sustain us continue to help us to move forward and help us to be more creative in finding ways and means to help many others in and through our lives thank you god for all that you have done be careful to give you all the glory honor and praise in jesus name we pray amen amen friends continue to hold on to god and to his promises that we will sustain and god will help us to continue to grow and for sure we will be a great inspiration for many others and we will be a blessing to many others as well have a great and a wonderful day god bless you Thank you so much for watching with us. If you're watching for this for the first time, do like, share, subscribe our channel and fill the form in the description box given below and you can watch our other videos as well and stay connected. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.